Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a care video for juvenile crested geckos and adult crested geckos and everything you're going to need. Uh, for a juvenile crested gecko, if you're starting off with only one, I'd recommend you just put it in a little cricket, a critter keeper and have them on paper towel for for that time. Um, but if you're housing multiple, like I do, I have two. Um, I give them a 12 by 12 by 18. Now you could uh, it's a, you could use Exoterra as med. I use Exoterra because it comes with this really nice background, which as you could see, my adult just loves it. He never gets off of there. And today, and from LOL Reptiles, I got a shipment of this here. It's a magnetic ledge. I have them for both tanks. <coughs> Sorry. Um, if you should always try to have a higher tank than shorter tank because than a longer tank because they use height to climb uh i think yeah i have my pinstripe here i don't know if you could really see him but no you can't really see him but i'll take him out later for you guys um for crested geckos you want to provide some substrate that be and that keep humidity well. Also from LL Reptiles, I got Terrarium Moss. It's living. I have them in both of my terrarium. Uh, it grows so it spreads out throughout your tank. You just spray it once. And you want to have a lot of foliage because if not, they'll get stressed out and they won't eat and they can potentially die. So, what I have here, these are both by Exoterras. They, they just stick on the wall from that suction cup right there. I have two of them. They're both different. So, I give them a variety. A variety. I have a floor plant that I keep if they want to climb on something that's not as high on the level. And I also have a cork round by Zoomed. And the cool thing about the mag natural ledge it's actually cheaper on LOL reptile so I'll recommend it they come with deli cups and they come with a few extras now these are disposable so some people uh, they're crested geckos like mine poop in their food or water dish sometimes now they don't really drink from their water dish but what you could do is you could kind of shake put them there Shake the water. I might make another video in the future of how to get them to drink from a water bowl. But you just, uh, basically you just shake the water. They see it move and then they drink it. But they can't really drink still water. But you can teach them. Uh, and I also provide, I don't know what brand this is, but it's like a bendable branch. You could bend it throughout the whole and throughout the whole tank, so it takes them everywhere. Uh, this is my partial pinstripe juvenile. It looks like a female, but you can't tell if it's a male or female. You can't tell the gender when they're this small. But a few grams up, and you could. You can't really see them, but there he is right in front of you. Um, and... Yeah, that's basically it. For, wait, let me show you my other one. Can I take it out? Sure, if you want. Uh, my brother's actually here. It's his birthday today. He's going to take out the craft geek because I'm filming. So I can't really reach. <coughs> Don't force him. Sweet. Uh, But yeah. That's Zio. He's my fl flame, extreme harlequin. 
and let me just close the thing. And then I have my flame harlequin pins right there. I'm hoping they're both females, so when they're adults, I could breed them to this guy. He is a male. You can't really see him though. He's right there. He's an adult yellow rescue statue. And yeah, from LOL Reptiles, they have some really nice stuff there. I recommend if you're getting something online, get it from there. They have the Living Moss. And I also got a Magnetic Ledge. Now, the Magnetic Ledge and the Terrarium Moss, I, they're a lot cheaper if you get it from them than if you buy it off another website. And, but yeah, so back to the actual care. For adults, you're basically wanting the same substrate. You're going to want somewhat bigger of a tank if you're housing multiple adults than multiple juveniles, obviously. And, and, but if you're housing one single adult, a 12 by 12 by 18 terrarium is perfectly fine. Um, uh, now, you're going to want a lot of foliage, like I have here and here. And I also have a floor plant there that goes into hive, and I have some moss there. And yeah, it ships, like, in a week or so. Mine came in in five days, which was unexpected but yeah and I have a jungle vine by exoterra there it feels a lot like tree bark so they really enjoy it and uh yeah thanks for watching bye